in the United States, the basis for licensure, the basis why the state licenses landscape architects and people without a license can't practice it, is based upon safety, and it's based upon liability, and it's based upon property. It's not based upon history, it's not based upon aesthetics, but it's based upon so, so the tests and the ability to license you are what we only do that for things that have to do with human health and safety. One of the core things is the applied science that we use in our work, ecology being one of them, hydrology being one of them, <laughs> climate being one of them. Because we believe in making plans where people are not in a floodplain, they're, they're, we understand about erodible slopes. We understand about a series of what I'll call bioengineering things that we apply in our work. Um, we're not, it's not like there's no core discipline. There really is. I mean, but uh, we also, like architects, know that we have uh, certain obligations to cultural legacy and, and that that is not trivial. That the loss of uh, our heritage is also important. And so that's a core knowledge. So, so there's science, you know, which has to do with meteorology, hydrology, geology, soils, <laughs> okay? Then there's structures, right? I mean, we should know about structures. And we should know about plants and horticulture, soil science, you know? I mean, all that stuff, if you're running a good discipline, people, you would, if you don't know it personally, you know how to go get it because you know you need that in the project you're doing. So I will go get an ecologist or I will bring in a good soil scientist. And so that's, that's part of our makeup is to know what is needed in the design of habitat for human beings that is safe, healthy, and socially viable. And if those aren't core disciplines, I don't know what is.